Hello everyone, welcome to Story Retold. Kalina here, glad to see so many familiar faces in chat already. Early birds, glad you are here. Uh, we are playing, this was a spontaneous choice. Uh, I like decided just a few hours ago that we're gonna play The Haunting of Castle Malloy. I know it's not March. We typically play this Irish game during the month of St. Patrick's Day, but I hadn't played it in a while. I realized I hadn't played it on my channel in a long time, so I thought this would be a nice, cozy, relaxing game to play. Not my favorite, but you know, my non-favorites, I tend to not play often enough, so I miss it. I wanna play it again. How are you guys doing today? Let me get the screen switched over. Here we go. Cozy, cozy indeed. Just catching up on, hello, Dr. J, Brittany Whited, Kate Goodwin, Jasmine Berg, Joyful Mystery Writer, Jenny Taylor, Chaz vs. Jazz. What time is it where you're at, Chaz vs. Jazz? My goodness. Emily Briquette, Someday Writing, Tori Samar, uh, Gemna, 117, Rose Wise, I think I said your name, Michelle G, hello. You're just thinking about this game this morning. That's amazing. Hello, E. Mullins. It's so good to see you, friend. Hello, April. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And also, I'm not feeling so great, so if we have to stop the stream a little on the early side. My voice needs to be louder. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can fix that. Hang on. My voice needs to be louder. <laughs> I mean, I could just, you know, bring it like right this close to my face, but it gets in the way. I'm like as close to the desk as I can get. Uh, let's switch to... Add three more decibels. Close that. Does that help at all? Maybe. I mean, it's kind of... I'm getting closer. There. Better? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe if I just talk loudly. Hey, there's a button on here. Does that do a thing? Better. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thankfully, this is not a motion sickness type of game. When Kyler Mallory called me from her home in London and asked me to be her maid of honor, I was a little reluctant. After all, I hadn't seen her since she stayed with us as an exchange student a couple of years ago. But when she told me the wedding is going to take place at an old family castle in Ireland, <laughs> how could I say no? The wedding will be very small, but Kyler still needs help with all the final preparations. I'll bring the, uh, the game noise down a little bit. Which means she'd like me to arrive several days early. So I'm going to fly to Dublin, rent a car, and meet Kyler at Castle Malloy. She warned me that the place is somewhat in need of repairs, whatever that means. And unfortunately, by the time I get there, it'll be night. But I've never been to Ireland before, and I've never even seen a real honest-to-goodness castle, let alone stayed in one. So the fact that it may be dark and run down just makes it more of an adventure. And you know me, whenever the question is, who wants to go on an adventure? My answer is always, I do. I do. That's what Nancy Drew is married to. Mysteries. Uh, fun fact, this game is uh, inspired by, not based on, oh goodness no, uh, the bike tour mystery. Because it was one of the few games where Nancy actually visits Ireland. Uh, and when it came to like the later Nancy Drew games, to make the mysteries different and the experience more unique and set apart from other games, they had to change up the book stories a bit. And so they went more original with their mysteries. So they kind of just like looked at an Nancy Drew book. Oh, okay, that one's set in Ireland. That'll be our point of reference. So I know. Ah, Kyler Teagan Mallory of London and Matthew William Simmons of London request your presence to witness their exchange of matrimonial vows on the 1st of June at 1 o'clock. Location is Castle Malloy, Baylor, Ireland. I'm going to throw some shade on a Nancy Drew fan right now. Calling him out. Uh, a long time ago, Argo Fump sent her interactive like a, a, a card kind of like this or like a an announcement card like this to her interactive. And we looked at the date and it was like a post date like it had already happened and we were like Michael you didn't invite us how rude but thank you for the card oh junior or senior Ooh, tough decision I usually like to play senior but 
because I'm like kind of out of it right now today, I think I'll get the extra help with Junior. You remember that joyful mystery writer? <laughs> In preparation for our landing, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Thank you. So your plane was on time, your luggage arrived, your rental car was waiting. Everything went without a hitch? Yep, and according to Kyla's directions, I'm within two kilometers of Castle Malloy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Are you driving? Yes, Ned, really? I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. No, you Say don't. hi to the Dunhills for me and have fun. Without you? Yeah, right. Take care, Nancy. Oh, no! What was that? A parrot. Um, was this the only game, besides Midnight in Salem, was this the only game where we actually saw the interior of the car from a first-person perspective? Because we've seen top-down and the outside of the car, like in Trail of Twister, in Secret of the Old Clock. Yeah, it totally sounds like a parrot. And she's like, her knees like are all bent. This cracks me up. She looks, she looks blonde, and like she's hunched over, like she's a monster lurking through the woods. Hello, Samuel Graham audiobooks. Thank you for stopping by and saying hello. A screaming banshee in. No vacancy. Banshee FM. The beat 104. All ball run all the time. <laughs> what is this? Irish something league. Frisbee. Irish Frisbee League. Okay. This is where my phone card comes in handy. Oh, we've got that. <gasps> Ned, we just called him. Bez? Let's call Bess. Let's see what's going on with Bez. Hi. If you're trying to reach Bess Marvin, or her super cool cousin, George Vane, you're out of luck, because neither of us can pick up right now. But be sure to leave a message or call back, okay? Because you know what they say. Your call is very important to us. Hi, guys. Just wanted to see what's going on there and tell you what's going on here. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye. Oh, you kept thinking the game was going to have a daytime mode, just by the way the screenshots in the back of the box. Yeah, I think they had to brighten it up because the game was so dark and the printing. You have to brighten it up for printing anyways. Sorry, emailings. I mean, I didn't work on this game, so I don't take credit for that, but you know, it's a thing that has to be done. Be right with you, miss. Jonah Von Spreken, the voice of so many characters. Yeah, did anyone else see the eclipse today? My husband and I were joking because anytime something in the sky happens, he, us here in Washington State don't see it because Washington is perpetually overcast and gray, so we see clouds. I want to explore this area more. I want there to be more area. I want to go like that here. I want to see what else is on up here. These are contest winners who were um, submitting for the Phantom of Venice, which happened before this game. Uh, but they were entered into this game with their pictures. Lovely masks all around. Oh, yeah. Do I have monies? I don't have any monies! Sad. It was too cloudy for you in Minnesota. Yeah, we were at the wrong angle of the hemisphere to see it, though, too. I can't go anywhere. This is sad. Out the door. Okay. <gasps> Tori, you were in the path of totality, but sadly your cloud cover hit the sun. This is, and sudden plunge into the darkness was neat, though. You're kind of unnerving. Huh? Yeah, do you guys remember the other eclipse that happened, like, oh, gosh, what was it? Six, seven years ago? Ooh, let's take a look at the arch. Lovely. I want an arch like this at my grand house. Ooh, doll. Creepy doll. Looks like... 
That's a ring. That's the clutter ring. Did you notice that, you guys? Around the neck. It's a clutter ring. It's the two hands holding a heart. Very Celtic. Very popular. My goodness. I've never noticed that. Sheep! Meh. that. See, you learn something new every single time. Pumpkin plans. You had a partial eclipse in Georgia? Nice. Glass half full, you did it? You, you got you got to see the eclipse? It was pretty cloudy and went in and out, but cleared up just in time? Nice. I love this puzzle. I want to make this in real life, but I don't know how yet. Oh, I could do it with plastic. I mean, it's not the same. Uh, I mean, this is two, there are two colors happening here, though. How do I make that? I should not spend time thinking about that right now. I should work on solving this. Just thinking about other kind of cool Nancy Drew merch I could make. Hmm. Gosh, I heard that start of that music and thought there was another alarm going off on my phone. That's how my day's going. To this because clearly there's a missing piece. All right, there's that side. Oh, I need this to get over there. Did you realize you can move two at a time? What? Another advertisement? Oh, goodness. I wonder if I can change that. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, I hit the delay ads button. Okay, how about that? That was a button I could push, so I pushed it. Sorry. YouTube has rolled out some new, um, what do you call it? Uh, not functions, but uh, when you can fine tune how things show up on your channel when it comes to ads. And I was looking at Twitch the other day and I was kind of overwhelmed by how many nitpicky features you could set up with ads and then YouTube starting to follow suit now so I need to fine-tune it please you guys if you are annoyed with something on the channel or during a live stream let me know because I want to be able to fix it and make it better We need to get this one up there. Anyone else like slider puzzles or am I just the weird one here? It looks like a piece is missing. Indeed. Danielle, you were in Oregon for the totality in 2007, 2017, that's right. That one was really awesome. The shadows, if you looked behind you and looked at the shadows, there were the crescent moon shaped shadows. It was weird. Okay, we got that partially solved. There are pretty flowers here. Remember that. And there are pretty flowers here. Remember that. It is dark. At least there's some light penetrating, so that's helpful. This is a long path. You know, too bad we couldn't, like, drive it by car across this. Could we? Maybe? All the way to the front door. Ooh. If you guys could have a giant door knocker on your door, would you? 
do you guys have to snack on and eat tonight? We've got passion fruit, sparkling water. Oh, I, um, uh, um, hello. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here for the wedding. The wedding's been called off. So go on back to where you come from. No, wait, please. My car's in the ditch by the gate. I can't go anywhere. Walk down the road to the inn, then. Give me your keys, and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Kyler? She's sleeping. No, wait. I came all the way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I said. Now off with you. But I've been to the inn. They don't have any rooms. I've got to stay here. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Oh, just walk right in, Nancy. Ooh, I like the view. Rocks! Okay. Big one. Whoosh. Big one. Little one. Am I not hitting it at the right angle? Nope, I'm doing a terrible job. There we go. Oh, think. Let's get some more. Think. Oops. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Cheese quesadillas. House. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Finishing off your daughter's birthday cake. Ooh, yummy. Deaf, are you now? Yes. I told you, you cannot be staying here. Oh, what are you doing? That's Nancy Drew, my maid of honor. Let her in. Oh, wait, the golf cart. Did Matt's we... disappeared? Outside, kind of. How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand, Matt's a bit of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. Oh, days away, okay. He disappeared as a prank? He adores getting people in a tizzy. I do think he's pushing the envelope this time, but... He'll show up. Mind you, it may not be till I've started down the aisle, but he'll show. Saying he just wanted to make this a wedding no one shall ever forget. I'm just trying to see what these ad things are. Something popped up. Why did that man at the door tell me the wedding was off? That was the caretaker, Donald Delaney. Not Donald, mind you. There's no D at the end, so it's pronounced Donal. That's the way you're supposed to spell it, which is to say that's the way the Irish spell it. Proud of his heritage, huh? Indeed. Hang on. Let's take a look here. Viewer activity, analytics, no. Stream settings? Okay, I can't change this out of that. There's only the two other buttons. Okay. Which would be tolerable if his love for the Irish wasn't accompanied by an abiding distaste for the British. Now, he rather likes me, but that's only because he considers me to be Irish, since I'm directly related to the man who used to own this place. When it comes to my British fiancé, Donald detests him. Which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He came right out and said, if I am to be married in Castle Malloy, it simply must be to an Irishman. Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people or whatever he calls them. <laughs> you sure the wedding shouldn't at least be postponed? I'm telling you, he'll show. You see, sometimes I hear him. You know, his voice. It's very faint and muffled, but it sounds like he's calling to me, saying things I can't quite make out teasing me the lout so i know he's somewhere close by he'll be here for the wedding i'd stake my life on it of course i remember well your penchant for solving mysteries so if you want to give this one a go by all means do you could start in the nursery it's down the hall that's where matt had set up his cot and was spending most of his time find him nancy having my maid of honor ruin this silly vanishing trick of his would teach him a lesson he sorely needs Someone ran out in front of my car on my way here and caused me to drive into a ditch. Are you all right? Me, I'm fine. My car and my cell phone, uh, not so good. And I'm pretty sure whomever I saw dropped this. Looks like some kind of homemade doll. The clothes. It looks like Matt. And that's his ring. What did the person who dropped this look like? 
I didn't really get a good look. It was dark, and I was distracted, and it moved so fast. Frankly, I'm not even sure if what I saw was a person. Denol, the caretaker, when we realized Matt was gone, straight away Denol claimed Matt had been kidnapped by fairies, which is, of course, utterly ridiculous. It was probably Matt himself you saw, tricked out in some costume and leaving that door behind just to confound us. Well, I do hope he's enjoying himself, because as soon as we're married, that will be that. No more practical jokes. Ever. Yeah, when you have to take something seriously, jokes are not a good time to... It's not a good time to have a joke. Does it bother you to be here all by yourself? Actually, Matt's best friend Kit Foley is here too. He set up a cot in the Great Hall downstairs. When did he arrive? We all came out together. Where does Mr. Delaney live? All I know is, he comes at dawn and leaves at sunset. I can't fathom what he does all day, but he always seems to be puttering away at something. When he's not working, he spends most of his time down the road at the Screaming Banshee Inn. My voice is still pretty quiet. I can try to bump that up a little bit. Hello, Liv from Australia. Who pays him? My grandfather's estate. Apparently, Grandpapa considered Denol to be as much a part of Castle Malloy as those moldy old tapestries you see everywhere. I should let him go. All he ever talks about are banshees and fairies and leprechauns. And he can be quite obstinate, as you saw at the door. But if Grandpapa saw fit to put up with him all those years, I suppose I can too. When you said you sometimes hear Matt, where are you when that happens? In here? In here, in the nursery, sometimes outside. His voice is always very muffled, and very, very faint, so I can never tell where it's coming from, or, or what he's saying. But it's Matt, I'm sure of it. And you've looked all over for him? When it became apparent he was missing, we searched everywhere, for hours. <laughs> we were afraid he'd gone wading and drowned or something, or wandered into the bog, or gotten lost out on the moor. But we found no footprints, no clothes lying around, nothing. So when I heard his voice, it dawned on me he was playing one of his outlandish pranks. <laughs> I was furious with him, but truth be told, it was also a bit of a relief. What are you doing in here, if you don't mind my asking? Reading. About myself, in a way. You see, until my grandpapa died and left me this place, not only did I have no idea that this castle existed, but I had no idea my real name was not Mallory, but Malloy. Apparently, Grandpapa changed his name 50 years ago, so no one would find out he was Irish. Hmm. You think an accent would have given it away? Hello, Andy Peral from Europe. Why didn't he want people to find out he was Irish? I think it had something to do with his brother, Brendan, the man who owned this place and was living here when it exploded during World War II. He was rumored to have been a double agent, supposedly doing top-secret research Ooh. for the Allies, but in truth, passing his findings onto the Axis. Not exactly a brother you want people to know about. If the rumors were true. Anyway, ever since I found out I'm a Malloy, I can't stop reading about Ireland. So many different people have populated this country at one time or another. The Celts, the Druids, the Gaels. It's all quite fascinating. All these books were Brendan's? I can't be certain, but I assume so. He was quite the inventor, I do know that. Everything that remains in this place seems as if it's been tinkered with. Even his daughter's dollhouse, of all things. Hmm. I'd better get to work. The five months I spent living with you, your dad, and Hannah. And Togo, of course. That was a very happy time for me, Nancy. I can't tell you how thrilled I am you're here. I get to see you again, and I get to see Ireland? <laughs> I'm the one who's thrilled, believe me. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? Put me to work. I haven't forgotten. Yes. How nice would it be to inherit a library? There's that horsey, the statuette of a little horse that has made it into several Nancy Drew games way back at the start. Zodiac Constellations. Oh, we're just gonna take it, okay. Because we need it, apparently. Ooh, cool. Stuff. Ooh, yay. Okay, so one, two. So it starts from here to there. 
Then I have to figure out the next order here to get to, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, that's six. Oh boy. Getting started with the puzzle, does that fit? It does fit, okay. Not need. Let's try over here. It doesn't fit anywhere. Oh. And this sound effect has been used multiple times across the Nancy Drew universe. Hang on. Maybe this doesn't go here. Maybe it goes over here someplace. Oh, thank you, Kelly Montgomery, for four months. Thank you so much for your support, my friend. I've got the strategy guide up just in case I want to use it. Hello, Casey Nickerson. How are you today, my friend? It's a little difficult to connect those two. Let's try that. There we go. Eh. Okay. No. Doesn't fit. Oh, well, those connect. Promising. guys have on the agenda for this week. Hopefully you guys are all healthy. It has been quite a season for us. Okay, that one is stationary. Does this connect someplace? Those don't. need to reach way over here. Hmm. So it looks like the pattern is uh, small, big, small, big. Take a look at the strategy guide. I'm gonna sneak in it. Of course, this is not showing me at the point in the game where I want to be solving it. Okay. One sec. It's not showing me. Uh well, okay. I think we're missing a piece, aren't we? There's supposed to be ten. Look, 10 big ones and 10 little ones. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, we're clearly missing some. So we're gonna have to come back with more pieces. No wonder I was not getting anywhere. Hello, Indie Crafts, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. This room. And we have weights, and clearly there are two spots missing from this collection. And this explains what each of these elements are. Okay. 
letter and number. Convert by oh the binary, okay. Binary is written by finding the combination or column values that, when added together, equal the numerical value. Each one or zero represents a single column, writing one if the value is used and zero if the value is not used. In eight digit binary, columns represent the following values. Okay, well, we, we don't know what we're doing just yet, so that's fine. Ah, the Tower of Hanoi. Oops. I did something wrong. <laughs> This'll come in handy. Oh, yeah. Right. Whoa, that would have been quite a fall. Open the door and drop right out. This is kind of reminiscent of uh, the Wickford Castle, except Wickford Castle had dead-end safety features. So, okay, there's that door. A nice, cozy fireplace. The nursery. Oh, you tricky crow. Actually, it's more like a raven, isn't it? <gasps> You're taking things apart. Naughty. Nice big fireplace. Not lit. Let's take that gem. A rainbow. You can see the rainbow coloring here. Wait. There are pieces in here. We're missing a few. Quite a few, actually. What is this? A silent mouth is sweet to hear. The bear that was used in uh, the bear model that was used in several Nancy Drew games. Kelly and Montgomery have the tw boys adjusted to having the twins around. They're pretty good with the, the twins. Um, unfortunately, they're not getting as much attention as uh, the twins get because their twins are super needy. Oh, this puzzle. I've always been really bad at this puzzle. So I am going to use the strategy guide. Andy Crafts, you've been packing and prepping for moving. Also cramming in your knitted and projects so you can get that pattern out ASAP. Nice. Kelly, you're job hunting this week. Gonna make some calls and check your applications. Ooh, fingers crossed. Yes. More puzzles. Here we go. Um. Let's see. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. No. Hang on. I'm just trying to match. Match what the strategy guide is wanting me to do. It looks like the red ones are here. Okay. That's not right.
There we go. That's not what the strategy guide is. Oh, that is purple, isn't it? It looks red to me. No, oh, not bad. The gear! A puzzle solved in order to try to solve another puzzle. I think that was a, a complaint. I'm not going to say whose name it was, but someone on the Her Directive team was kind of complaining that you had to solve a puzzle to get to another puzzle, to get to another puzzle, to get to the thing, to get to the thing. Tea party, anyone? Evil returns to the evildoer. Oh, creepy. Creepy doll! Creepy doll! See not what you see, and hear not what you hear. Ooh, I got monies from the horsey. A lucky charm of some sort, like a token. Truth speaks even though the tongue were dead. <gasps> the chatter teeth from uh, Curse of Blackmore Manor and the doll that was also used in Secret of the Old Claw. The Lapin Blue. Doll collections. One, two, three, four missing dolls. We might not have everything to solve this right now. Interesting dollhouse. Okay, well, we have a token. Who could use um, some suit of armor just you now standing in your house you should have that guarding your door entry like as soon as someone opens the door they see a suit of armor you had fun with the trivia show I'm glad you enjoyed that I'm still trying to work on getting all my content for the next one which is why I've not announced it yet because I want to make sure I have all the stuff I need I'm all out of prizes though so I'm gonna have to figure that one out Jenny thanks for the lurk you had a Girl Scout meeting? Awesome. That's just a little too far to jump. Oh, you can make it. Wee! Huh. Ah! The bad news. You were too badly injured in the fall to be Kyler's maid of honor. The good news. The dress she had wanted you to wear looked awful and it itched like crazy. Whoops. And let's just, uh... Uh, we could go solve the, the, the gear puzzle. Could do that. What a great place. Look at this wedding venue area. This would be awesome. Nice cozy fire. Oh! Hang on. Is that Matt? That's not Matt. Kind of sketch. I shouldn't go messing with this without permission. Printing press. This is huge. I love it. Great place. There's all the cots. That's where everyone's sleeping. But, uh, alas, there is a draft. A big draft. Somebody needs to tidy up the place if you're gonna have a wedding here. I'll take that weight. Glassware. Oh, yeah, they're getting all this dining stuff set up. There's a present. I wanna look at the paper. Madame Isabel. I'll take that lucky charm. Do I want to spend on her? Not really. Not yet. Hello, sir. Hi. You must be Nancy Drew. I'm Kit Foley. Ignore the eye if you can. Walked into a door the other day. Looks worse than it feels. I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. I was going to say the same about you. I'm not about to leave Kyler here by herself. Until she comes to her senses, I'm staying put. What do you mean, comes to her senses? Matt isn't playing a practical joke, and he hasn't been kidnapped by fairies. He got cold feet and left. It's as simple as that. Have you told Kyler? No, I haven't got the heart. Or the guts. Take your pick. I mean, he loves Kyler, but she can be a handful. And he's no pushover either. Their relationship is so tempestuous, it scares him. She thinks once he makes a real commitment, everything will be fine. But he's not so sure. So, he bailed. Hmm. You're, make, you're making a chicken fettuccine with broccoli? Nice. Without saying anything to her? I'm sure he'll contact her in another day or two. In the meantime, 
She's in a raging state of denial, and I, for one, don't see any harm in allowing her to stay that way. I seriously doubt he walked out on her for good. It's just that for Matt, marriage is way too much, way too soon. Jenny, thank you so much for five months. I appreciate your support, my friend. When or how did you realize that Matt had disappeared? Kyler and I went for a walk, came back, and the next thing I knew, Kyler was saying Matt was nowhere to be found. I'm gonna snack on some ginger candy. Where did you last see him? In the nursery. He always seemed to be in the nursery fiddling with things. Whenever I'd tease him about it, he'd always give me this impish little grin like he was up to something. When I checked the nursery and saw that Matt's suitcase and backpack were gone, it finally dawned on me that he had left and he wasn't coming back. Of course, by that time, Kyler had convinced herself that he was simply playing one of his practical jokes, and I couldn't bring myself to burst her bubble, so I didn't. How come you sound so American? Because I am American. My father's VP of International Sales for Krollmeister Incorporated. Krollmeister? The company transferred him to London 15 years ago. I've pretty much lived there ever since. I just can't seem to pick up the accent. It looks like you're drawing something. Are you an artist? Me? Not hardly. I'm with a real estate development company. These are just preliminary sketches for a couple of projects we're working on. In other words, I'm doing homework. Residential real estate or commercial? Mostly residential. And let me tell you, we'd have a field day with attractive land like the one this castle sits on. Ocean view, easy commute to Donegal, bedrock foundation, readily accessible groundwater. That bog's a bit problematic, but a little sand, a little gravel, a little landscaping, voila! A cluster of six, maybe eight luxury homes amid a park-like setting that would sell like lightning. Hmm. I'll see you later, okay? Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble? What, me? Okay. Let's, uh... This is suspicious. Look at this. The floor. Okay, let's do the gears. Uh, we should probably count to see how many. So there's supposed to be ten. Two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then ten little ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we don't have enough here. We still need one more piece. Missing one more. Nancy, splendid timing. I just thought of something you can do for me. There's an old-fashioned printing press downstairs. Have you seen it? It's so yeah. big, it's pretty hard to miss. It came with the castle. My great-uncle Brendan had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and machinery lying around. Anyway, when I saw the printer, I told Matt why not save some money and print the programs for the wedding right here. Uh, problem is, Matt failed to get them done before he turned into the merry prankster. And since I have the mechanical aptitude of a bacterium... <laughs> Would you mind finishing the job for me? You'd only have to print three more sheets. And the plate, the ink, the paper, everything you need is right there. No problem. Thank you, Nancy. You're the best. But we only have the four colors. We're not mixing colors. That's the thing about... So I'm, I'm a little jaded because I've been through weddings. And I've been through my own wedding. And so I have, you know, I've got opinions about everything now. But I hold off on saying them because you don't want to tell someone who's getting married. You know, it'd be way easier if you just, you know, did something else or whatever. Let them have their fun. Because if they want something, then they need to have their fun and enjoy their wedding day. But, you know, there are some things. There are some things about weddings that you... it would, For the sake of stress relief, it is worth spending money on something. XYZ, a service, someone to help. Um, the thing to be done for you. But, you know, if you did want to save money, you know, doing things yourself, you can do it. Just remember, it's it's just one more thing you need to stress over. Okay, uh... Which binary code color is this? Where, wait, wait, where are they? I'd better finish the rest of these before I go anywhere. Did she say where the instructions were? 
Did I get them? Are they in here? That's Zodiac. That's not what I wanted. I wasn't paying attention when she told me what to do. Matt said chores. Uh, yeah, you're gonna head up. <laughs> I don't know chores. Um, okay. Uh, Nancy, did you write down what that binary was? No. I haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. I haven't done that. Can Can't check that out? off yet. <laughs> I haven't done that. Did that. Still have to do that. I have a lot to do. Did that. All done. I haven't done that. Did that. Okay. Um. Well, we put... No. We put ink on. We have... Oh, now we can back out. Right? Can we? Can we back out? Am I stuck? Oh, no. I should use black ink to print the programs. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Black. Then paper. Then... I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Did I do a thing? Dry it? And why does the paper not flutter away when I do that? Alan Payne. That's kind of weird. Oh, interesting. So, okay, okay. We only need a black. You think we should be allowed to print the programs in multicolor? <laughs> Who cares about the wedding theme? <laughs> you want cyan? Yes. Okay, how many are we supposed to print? That's two. I was seriously overthinking this puzzle already. Hey, Lee, I'm glad you're doing okay. I'm sorry you had a look rough last week. I did too. Hope you feel, hope you're uh, having a much better week this week. You printed your own wedding programs, but you used a computer. I printed my own, uh, I made, I designed my own RSVP cards. They were printed on golden cardstock, and I cut them out to make them look like uh, golden tickets for a movie theater kind of style design. I should finish what I just printed before I take more paper. Whoa, 22 months, Black Rose 1984. Thank you so much for your support, my friend. Did I mess up? Oh, did I, did I, did I finish? Did I do, did I do it all? I should go back to the inn. Still have to do that. I haven't done that. Did that. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to the inn. Mm -hmm. Where are those lights in the tower coming from? Wait a minute. Jenny Taylor, you're... you're... Okay, for those of you who are paid members... You're not supposed to get ads. Deb, you're not supposed to be getting an ad. Black Rose, you're not supposed to be getting an ad. Jenny, you're not supposed to be getting an ad. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry, my friends. Yeah, that's not right. I need to I need to troubleshoot that later. I'll I'll do that later. Thank you for calling those out. I just realized paid members are not supposed to get ads. They're not. What went wrong in YouTube? Ooh, a path. We're gonna go exploring. Do, 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 do. Ooh. What did she ask me to do? Wonder what that crow's doing in there. Stashing treasures. <laughs> Food. A face only a gnome could love. In that game. I like this garden. This is cute. Oh, what's this? I, Kyler, choose you, Matt, as my friend, my companion, my love, though life's through life's trials and will travel <laughs> will travel 
celebration. I can't read it. The font is too tiny. What am I doing? This is wrong. Oh dear. I know. It's okay. Not everyone is a good writer. It's okay. Yeah, YouTube went wrong. I do not like what is set up right now with YouTube and ads. Hello, Cliff. Ah! We're going for a swim. The cliff wasn't that high. The bad news, it was still a cliff. <laughs> Brittany, I know, writing her own vows, very brave. Yes, let's try again. Let's not fall off the cliff. Getting so lost. Oh, what's this? A well. Ooh, and a path. Paths are good. Whoa, X marks the spot. Oh, uh, that's where the septic tank is. <laughs> For those of you who have septic tanks, you know what I'm talking about. There's always a much green -er patch of grass where the septic, septic tank is located. Ooh. What is that? Oh, I'm not sure I can get over there without falling in. Splish splash, I was taking the The crow comes to mock me. Uh, we just think, because Nancy doesn't swim. Uh, by the time Kit and Carter arrived, you'd only sunk on up to your waist. The bad news, when they tried to pull you out, they sank in up to their chins. I, I do believe they're bringing back the good news, bad news sequences, Kelly Montgomery. If you saw the Second Chance uh, video from her interactive for Mystery of the Seven Kings. I'm excited for that. I hope they're witty. I hope they're very witty. I mean, Nick Blahonka did a lot of great good news, bad news uh, writings. Ooh, Celtic crosses. Three of them. See, look at how nicely lit this area is. I would love to explore it from first person perspective, not third person, honestly. Okay, this is the main path. To the Baylor Inn. Switch the music. So, you're not so keen on staying at the castle after all then? I'm staying there. I just wanted to talk to you. Come to me for a bit of aid and advice, did you? Well, I've got none to give. Not till I got the day's troubles behind me and a crow's nest in front of me. I don't blame you a bit. I don't blame you a bit. I also have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the mix maid suddenly took ill, leaving mm. poor Seamus on his own, running back and forth, trying to mix and serve at the same time. I ordered soon as I walked in, yet here I sit, dying of thirst. I'll do no talking till I get me crow's nest, and there's the sorry truth of the matter. But now, were some spry and spunky lass to lend poor Seamus a hand by taking over the mixin' for a while, that would surely speed the plow. Maybe, but I don't feel like playing mix maid right now. Well, when you do, don't come bothering me. Just go on over to the mixin' counter and get down to work. Uh, Brittany, uh, did I get a taste of the drinks when Jai made the mix maid video? I don't think I did, but I think... I think some of the other ladies got to. Yeah. I've been honestly thinking about making a, a grown-up version of Mixed Made drinks for this game, but then also, like, kid versions for, like, the rest of the Nancy Drew games. Haven't gotten to the full plan of that yet. But I think now's a good time to save our game. I got all the second chances here. <laughs> Queued up. <laughs> what should we get name our game? Uh, Boron? Mixed Made? Mixed Made? Mix made. Let's do that. I'm gonna save my game. I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you guys all for stopping by, saying hello, hanging out in chat, watching, lurking. Sorry about the ads. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next live stream.
Bye.